Hello everyone, this is Shraddha. I'm going to talk about a NARCS project, it's working, and a little demo at the end. The crucial problem that the NARCS deals with is the trust and the isolation in the remote cloud environments. In the cloud environments, hosts and owners of different layers can pick into the sensitive data without you knowing. For this issue, there are different trusted execution environments or TEs. A TE is basically a secure area in the host to run the sensitive workloads. Only the CPU has access to this DE. So, the, so if any other layer tries to access it, then they are denied the access. All this is good. So why do we need an ARC? TEs are awesome, but they have few limitations. There are different platforms for TEs. And for each platform, we have to develop the application differently. For writing those applications, you need to use different SDKs and they restrict the language use. The third important part is the attestation. There are different attestation models used for different platforms. Lastly, there are different cloud vendors currently in the market. Handling these third-party products and their vulnerabilities is very risky. So Enox is focused on getting rid of all those uh, limitations that are posed by TEs. Let's take a quick overview of the Enox. It uses TEs for confidential workloads. It makes the development and the deployment easy using WASM. It has strong security principles for re reducing the trust relationships. It's cloud native and it has been made open source. So it basically, the Anax uh, removes all limitations by creating the platform agnostic, easy to develop and secure system to deploy the sensitive workloads to the remote host. Let's understand how the Anax is uh, reducing the limitations in more detailed manner. This is a normal structure of the systems on the cloud. Anax focuses on reducing the trust relationships. So we just need to trust the CPU and the firmware and wipe out the need to trust any of the other layers above, above it. The most important thing uh, here is the Anax is a deployment framework. It can let you choose whatever language you want to develop an application in. You just have to compile it to the web assembly and need to choose the host and then you are ready to deploy it to the Anax skip. Let's go to the demo part now. The demo is based on the scenario where we want to carry out a confidential transaction in a trusted execution environment using zero knowledge proof and with the help of Anax. Let's first understand what ZKP is. ZKP is used when you want to carry out a confidential transaction or we want to do a statement or a secret without sharing any extra details about it to the other party. It's highly used in the cryptographic and authentication system. Let's take an example. Here are Bob and Alice. They will help us understand ZKP. So Bob and Alice decide to go to dungeon rate individually. After the rate, they want to see if the number of coins is same or not without revealing any other information about their gates. Considering they can have coins between 10 to 25 range, Bob pulls four lockable boxes with the labels. Bob keeps the only one key to the box whose label number is same as his number of coins. That is box with label 10 and throws other keys away. Alice has different paper markers. Green marker for the box which has same label number as her number of coins and red marker for all the others. Since Alice has 25 coins, she puts the green sticker inside it and puts the red sticker for all the others. At the end of this procedure, Bob opens the box number 10 with his key and he finds that he has red marker, meaning that his number of coins is not equal to hers. But he doesn't know how many coins she has and then no other information is revealed. This is what the ZKP is. We are done with the theory part now. Let's go ahead with the implementation. We are implementing a non-interactive type of ZKP, that is bulletproof. Simply speaking, the prover will create the proof, send it over to the verifier, and then the verifier will validate that proof and say if the proof is valid or not. Let's check out the demo now. In the code, I have added a range proof, which will use a bit factor n and will check if the secret is in the range from 0 to 2 raised to power n. And the commitments will be there, which will create the agreements and are passed to the verifier to carry out the verification process. Here we are taking the two inputs, secret and the bit vector. First of all, we will be compiling it to the WebAssembly and then run it in the NARC step. In the first example, I will be taking the secret as 7 and the bit vector as 8. Since 7 is in the 0 to 256 range, proof is verified. On the other hand, I will be taking the secret as 
286 and the beta vector is 8. In this case, proof will not be verified since it is not in the range. This is how the applications can be easily deployed on top of an app and will provide an additional layer of security for our sensitive code and data, as well as making this development process much easier. So we have got to know how ZKPs work and how to run them on top of an app. Thank you everyone.